Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Um, today is Thursday, April 4th. Uh, I'm going to be going over my, my recap for today. Um, so today, I took a lot of trades today, um, but I kept my losses small, which is a good thing. Um, uh, but overall, I'm down $125 for today. Um, I was actually um, kind of break even today, but I uh, made a winner to a loser. Um, and I'll go over that in a second. So I think the first trade I did, um, so yesterday I had, um, I had a, a red day yesterday and it was quite a big loss. So I told myself that I'll be uh, patient and uh, take, take trades patiently and take it on the breakdowns. So I went ahead and did that today um, on in the morning, uh, which was good. Uh, but towards the end of the day, I started trading carelessly. Um, but the good, two good trades that I did was TNXP. So you can see here, I shorted during this breakdown um, of this 290, which was a key area. Uh, I took that and then I covered um, around the um, 278 area. Um, and then I saw another opportunity here, which was this area key level, uh, which was like the 271, 272, and that broke. So I took that, and then I just covered the rest because I the move wasn't, um, the move move wasn't as strong as I expected. I was expecting like a move like this, um, all the way down here, but um, it kind of held. So I took it off uh, for a small win there. Um, so that was a $50 win in the morning. Um, and then I think I took, uh, so TNXP, I took another, I took a long position for, I think when I saw this area here, um, where I saw this area here, uh, holding 280 and, uh, it was kind of uh, working its way up towards VWAP. So I took uh a long position there uh with my sh my with my wrist off this uh low um and then this wash here washed me out and I got i got stopped out uh which was a good thing uh, i went all the way down to 270 but it kind of broke uh, above 290 and a little higher afterwards but nonetheless uh that was like a 50 dollar loss so i was pretty much even on tnxp uh, the next trade, uh, I think I took uh, AKAO. So I was watching this for a flag, for a flag break, and I saw this area was holding here. Um, so I went in a little early. Uh, I, I took I took long there. Um, so this was flagging, as you can see, it's forming a flag. Um, I, I went in a little early, and then. <clears throat> it break down towards uh, VWAP, so my stop was uh, e either below this or VWAP. So it kind of washed out, and I just took it off there, and that was for a $20, $20 loss. Um, it ended up fading back down. So um, I went to get in this one because uh, the previous um, days, you there has been a lot of uh, sub dollar. Um, stocks that are, are breaking out and over a dollar so I wanted to kind of take a little position here along uh, just in case this had another leg up move and um, went um, parabolic towards one dollar um, the other trade I did was <coughs> REPH so REPH uh, lost a hundred dollars pretty much um, on both sides of the trade short and long so, uh, I think initially I saw this trend line break here. Um, so I went ahead, cause I, I saw this kind of like a cup and handle, um, but I went ahead and short there. Um, it ended up not breaking. Uh, so again, I went in a little early, um, which I should not have. And then I shorted here and then immediately stopped out um, when it went above this high. So 
that was that was a forty-eight dollar loss on the short side, um, and then or I think it was a smaller loss, and then I think I shorted here, and I made some back, um, and then okay, yeah, so. So it, this was like a hundred dollar loss, and then I made some back short here um, for another fifty win, um, but a total of a uh, forty eight dollar loss from the short side. And then during the day, I saw this kind of um, forming this flag here uh, during the day, and I I went ahead and buy this uh, trend line break here. So I bought there and then I was hoping for like a retest and then break up higher, but you see there's no volume. So no volume, um, I should have taken it off here when I saw no volume uh, or any anywhere here, uh, but I ended up wanting to make this trade work. So I ended up putting my stop uh, around this, the last pivot point, which was around 819 or so. So I ended up stopping out there and that was a a loss of uh, $54 on the long side. Um, my last trade was DHR. So um, on the daily here, this looks kind of overextended. I was hoping for a break that below 13 EMA on the daily um, today, but it kind of, it held today. So I was watching this channel here. So you can see it was bouncing towards this 130, 63 and 130, uh, 30. So I went ahead and start short and added short here, covered some profit and then covered and then reshort and covered some. Um, so I was up uh, 150 here, um, but I had I had like a half was half position still, and I end up um, holding that short for this ride up here, which took me for a, a loss. Um, uh, I lost like 150 from there uh, trading back and forth here um, so I I potentially made a winner uh, into a loser and I told myself that I would stop out earlier but I've been pretty bad recently for uh, stopping out or taking taking a loss so that's the lesson you learn like um, when this channel break and it didn't it didn't um, make a move that I liked, so you can see it was kind of like a flag, uh, flagging here, and this break here should have uh, triggered all the way down here. But I think on the daily it was holding that position, um, so it didn't have the greatest move. Um, but overall, I managed that trade and was pretty much break even. Uh, lost all the gains from uh, this uh, short here. Um, and then uh, give it all back here. So um, overall, um, nonetheless, I think uh, it was a, s a small loss compared to all, all the trades I made today, um, which is um, okay. Um, I just need to find better setups and uh, increase my winning percentage. Um, so as always, uh, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.